Hello guys, today I want to quickly answer one question from YouTube comments. It's about security and SQL injection in queries. Specifically, if you run raw queries, which are not protected from SQL injection by default, so how should you do that? If you use Eloquent without raw queries, it is protected, but raw queries are kind of, well, raw. Whatever you put in there, it will run. And potentially SQL injection becomes possible when you have variables in your raw queries. So for example, if we take a look at the documentation, raw expressions in Laravel in DB table query builder, for example, in here, with DB raw, you would have some kind of parameter. So in here, it doesn't make much sense, but there are more methods. If we scroll down, for example, where raw. So some kind of raw query, which includes a parameter here, a question mark. And the error that some people make is to provide the variable here directly, like dollar price or something inside of that raw query. And then that variable, especially if it comes from user input, may be a source of attack for SQL injection. In the description below, I'll also add a few links about general SQL injection, what it is and how it works, so you can read about it more. But the basic thing that you need to know that if in raw query you have a parameter, it needs to be protected. And this is exactly how. So you need to use bindings. Whatever parameter, you don't put the variables in here, you put the question mark, and then as a second parameter of that raw statement, you provide the array of the parameter values. So here you would have dollar something, dollar variable. Similar example is in the below, for example, having raw also has a question mark with parameter of 2500, or that could be a variable. In other examples in the documentation, we don't have more parameters. Okay, so you get the idea. Don't put the variables dollar signs in here, put the question mark and then provide all the values as the array. So that's it for today. Quick security tip. If you want to get more tips, I have quite a lot of them in this repository called Laravel Daily Laravel Tips more than 200 tips. There's no specific section about security, but there's a huge section about database and eloquent and models. So you will totally find something interesting there. The link to that repository will be also in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.